So Ian, is all construction work subject to VAT at 20% or are there any exceptions? Uh, well, yes, there's actually several exceptions where subject to detailed conditions being met, um, the work and any associated goods with that work can be subject to either what we call the reduced rate of 5% VAT, or in some cases, zero rate, so that there would be no VAT at all. Um, so probably the most common type that we deal with would be in relation to new built housing. So the general principle would be that it has to be completely from scratch. So if, if there was an existing building at that location, it would have to be demolished to ground level and the new building would be you know, completely from scratch. And if the main purpose of that building is residential housing, so that could be a flat or a house, then all the construction work would be eligible for zero rated VAT. So quite important, any developers, landlords, contractors or subcontractors working on the site, it's really important that they you know, get the VAT treatment correct and check, check the rules for this area. So, so the, the second type of work uh, to be aware of is the renovation of an empty property and subject to the conditions being met, that work can be eligible for the reduced rate to 5% VAT. So as long as the property has not been lived in for at least two years and you have evidence of that, that can be, generally it would be from the local council, very often they have empty property officers and they, they can give you a written uh, document giving an opinion that the property has been empty for at least two years. Uh, other evidence could be from utility companies or the electoral roll. But as long as you have that evidence that, that no one has lived in the property for two years, then any renovation or alteration works uh, to do with that property can be subject to the 5% the reduced rate of VAT. Uh, then we've got the third type, uh, which, which again, quite important to be aware of, any works that are adapting or altering the property to meet the needs of a disabled person, then it can also be zero rated. So that could be uh, perhaps widening a doorway or a passageway for a wheelchair. It could be installing a ramp. It could be adapting a bathroom, anything like that, meeting uh, certain conditions, the entire works can be zero rated for VAT. So the, the final type of construction work that's really important to be aware of that could be eligible for VAT zero rating is conversions. So that would be either converting a non-residential property into a residential one or converting an existing residential dwelling into a different number of dwellings. So in the first example, that would be, for example, converting a, an office or a factory into flats. You're, you're changing it from non-residential to residential. So that work can qualify for the reduced rate of 5% VAT. Um, in the second case, it would be if you were converting a residential dwelling into a different number of dwellings. So for example, quite often we've worked with cases where there's been a house that's been converted into several flats. And because you're actually creating a different number of dwellings, uh, the construction work, again, subject to meeting the detailed conditions, the, the entire works can be subject to the reduced rate of 5% on that VAT.